Hello, and welcome to another broadcast with Gian. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gian. Hello, dear friend. Good evening, and thank you one more time to be with us. I don't know if you noticed the picture. That is me and my wife, Tracy, in our kitchen. We were fixing lunch last Sunday. We have some friends in the house, and I said, what if we eat some chicken salad? And we had a great, great time with our friends. When it's about our food, I am passionate about food. I have trouble to eat what is right. I do. I admit it. But the thing is, age will tell you certain things. Sometimes, especially when we are young, we just think, I'm going to eat whatever I want, as much as I want. Eventually, with the pass of the years, you will find out, no, you cannot do that. Your digestive system is going to start sending you certain messages there. And then your annual checkup with the doctor will confirm what you were guessing is not just weight. There are other factors. But age will tell you it's time for you to start eating healthier. Absolutely. Now, when you are thinking about what you eat, what is the main objective? You want to look better or you want to be healthy? Let's face it. Everybody wants to look good, everybody. We want to look good, but more importantly, we want to be healthy. And that should be the thing that will guide you to make the right decision. And you say, I'm sold, I got it. My age and health, absolutely. Okay, now, what else can you tell me? Well, what I have to tell you is that because we have so many friends talking about diets all the time, and tell me, please answer this question. Why is it that every time we are sitting around the table, as soon as we are about to get the first bite, people start talking about diets. People start talking about what they shouldn't be eating. You know, I, I understand we need to talk about our diet and our healthy food and all that. I agree. But once we decided what we're going to eat, and the food is at the table, the food is in my plate, I don't want to hear anything else about it. Stop talking about that. <laughs> but it's true. Sometimes our friends are just giving us a reminder. Mm, you shouldn't be eating that. Have you heard about this diet? And then we start trying to dig into diets, right? We do that. It's kind of funny, though. But uh, once they are gone, and you are by yourself, sometimes your emotions are controlling you. True? Oh, yes, they do. Sometimes when we are starting to, to feel a little bit sad, a little bit depressed, that is exactly what we do, right? And then we say, I'm going to eat this. And for some reason, eating will give us a little bit of peace. It does. And then we say, well, I can get a little bit more of this. I can get a little bit more of that. And we get confused because we are trying to control our emotions or whatever is going on with food, you know? What I suggest to everybody is have a good pantry. Meaning, don't buy stuff that you know is not good for you. Now, I do have marshmallows in my pantry for my sweet potatoes and the brown sugar. Yes, I do. I admit it. Guilty. <laughs> but not all is like that. You have to have other things in your pantry. You need to have a good variety of vegetables in your refrigerator as possible. It's good to do that. Drink water. It's important. 
to do those kind of things. But once in a while, some people say, Sunday is my cheat day. I'm going to cheat this day, you know. This day I'm not going to be too hard on myself with my diet. And I agree with that. <laughs> I want some cake. I want ice cream. I want all the stuff that is not good. At least once a week, I say to myself, I got to do that, you know, because otherwise I'm going to be <laughs> miserable. But at least one, one day a week, I say, I'm going to do this. I want to enjoy this Sunday. One thing that we need to do is to move. Yeah, you got to move a little bit more, my friend. Get up. You need to, to walk a little. Walk in your house, in your apartment, in your office. Get up. Walk yourself to get your drink. Go to say hello to a coworker. If you are working online, get up. Go to the bathroom. Get your drink. Come back. Stretch. Move. When you finish your activities, move. You are sitting in front of the computer or you are sitting driving a vehicle and then you come home, you want to sit down again. Move a little bit, slowly, one step at a time. And it's very important that you try to sleep good. Turn off the TV whenever it's needed so you will sleep your eight hours. You are going to have a much better day every day when you sleep good. Now you are thinking, I cannot sleep good. Of course not. You just ate two pounds of food half hour ago, and it was 10.30 in the night. <laughs> you see how guilty we are? Everything starts when we pay attention to our food, time, and amount. Then you're going to have a good night. I found this quote that is really amazing. It says, your body is a temple for the Holy Spirit that you received from God. God blessed you, my friend, with a body. And if you believe in God, the Holy Spirit dwells in you, and that makes the big difference in your life. I hope you will have a much better diet from now on. Thank you for watching another broadcast with Gian. The schedule of this program, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Saturday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Check the website mygiancarlo.com for more videos. We hope to see you soon.